If you're looking for a new battery lawnmower, you might want to watch this first. We are going to test cutting long grass, cutting short grass, cutting height adjustment, cutting height range, grass collection, how easy it is to put the grass box on and off, see what the storage is like, and how long it takes to charge the batteries. We're Machinery Nation and we bring you videos every Tuesday and Friday all about tools and machinery. So please consider subscribing, hit the like button, and ding the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Let's get cracking. Tested by Machinery Nation. We have the RMA 339C from Still, the LC. 142 IS from Husqvarna, the LM1700 from Ego, the G24X2 LM41 from Greenworks, the Electrus 38 Li from Mountfield, the Combi 336E from Steger. So in general cutting, they have all done a cracking job. Just taking that sort of three inches of grass down to about an inch and a half. Nothing serious, just standard lawn mowing, what most of you will be doing. There's those times where you need to go that extra mile and cut longer grass, or perhaps you've been on holiday for a couple of weeks. Perhaps it's just been raining for ages, like it has been lately. Let's give it a go in longer grass. So hopefully you can see this on camera, but that's the grass we were cutting, which is about three inches long. This here is more like sort of five to six inches in some places. All right, Steger up first. We will put the height up a little bit. There we go, as you would in any long grass. Power on. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, do you believe we have now got a full grass box, but look what it's doing. Yeah, our grass box is stoked. Mount fields. I think that's had enough there now. Yeah, definitely had enough. All right, green wax. Power, the ego. Nice, Husqvarna. Steel turn. To be fair, I'm super impressed with all of them. They've all gone through the grass. I didn't think half of them would, if I'm honest. I know the Steger stopped, but that's because it's got a very, very small grass bag and it's a much smaller mower, so I definitely expected that. But it's only because the grass bag filled up, it would still carry on and cut lots longer grass. And look at it, you know, it's covering the front wheels of the lawnmower and then some, so it's very impressive. Right, so we know the Steger's grass box is full. Let's check out the others. Mountfield, yeah, nearly full. Greenworks, ah, uh, there's still some capacity in there. You could probably go another few meters. Ego, same again. You could probably go another four or five meters in the long grass. Hasfana, that is jam-packed full. And the still, that's, yeah, that's jam-packed full as well. So one of my pet hates is how easy or how hard it is to get a grass box on and off a machine. So, Steger up first, lift the flap, pull the grass box off, drop it down and then go in underneath the handles and pull it out. Not too bad, how easy to get on. In underneath, drop it down, in over the top. Yeah, it just falls on. Quite all right, quite happy with that. Right, try the next one. The mount field. Again, lift the flap, pull the grass box off, put it down, in under the handles, and away you go. Back on again, in underneath, drop it down, in over the handles. Yeah, now it falls on quite nicely. Easy, right, next one. Greenwax, lift the flap, lift the grass box off, pop it down, underneath, and out. I think it's a running theme here, isn't it? Underneath, and on. Cool, quite happy with that. Three very similar designs. Right, so the Ego, flap up, and then you've got a handle you lift up, and then lift it off, drop it down, grab the handle, and out. Cool, fairly simple. There's an, another advantage with this, you could, easily fold the handles on the Ego because we'll get to that later. And then you can come in with the lifter flap, holding your handle in and on and down, which I do sort of, yeah, I get it. But when you're actually using it, you don't do that, do you? So off with that, down with there. But when you come in with this, the handles are there, that handle is a bit, it, 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 
it does this, right? And I just do find that a little bit awkward. So it comes in, round like that, and down. Once you've got the hang of it, it's okay. But I prefer handle in line with the machine rather than across. It doesn't, because everything pivots on that point. Otherwise, nice and easy. So it has Fana, in over, off the thing, on the floor, out and around, back in. Oh, you can actually get to that one quite easily from in underneath. You haven't got to drop it in over, obviously, depending on how long your arms are. But yeah, for more traditional design, that works quite well. So this mount, I'm going to have this way around for a very simple reason, so you can see both handles, because it's only got one handle on one side. It's called a mono handle, and it means you can come in from this side with your grass box, like so, lift up your flap, and take off... Oh, I haven't emptied it. Take off your grass box. When you come back, it means you haven't got to drop it on the floor each time. You can come back in, lift your flap, pop your grass box back in again, and off you go. You haven't got to drop and go. It's nice and easy, nice and straight. Like it. So storage. These four mowers here, the Mountfield, the Greenworks, the Steger, and the Husqvarna, are all very similar. You've got to undo the bolts to fold the handles, which if you're 99% of the population of the world, you don't bother and you just store it looking exactly like a lawnmower. But the Ego and Still are slightly different. So if you lose the grass box on the mower, on the Ego, you can then pop out the two little clips on the side, pop the handles down like so, because they're telescopic, clip them back in again, fold that right over like so, it'll click in. You can then fold the mower up onto its back legs for storage in the back of a vehicle, anything like that is going to make it a lot smaller to move around. Same principle with the steel. If you remove the grass box, you can then fold the mono handle right over like so, you can pick up the front of the mower and store it on its back legs. So how easy is it to adjust the height of cut? More traditional mowers would have had an individual height selector on each wheel, whereas most modern mowers now have a single height adjustment, so that means one lever adjusts all four levers at one time. On the Steger, it's here on the side, you just pull it out towards the wheel, and then you can push the mower down to change your height. Similar for the mount field, apart from it's a lever on the side, just push the lever down for lower, or pull it back up for higher. Slightly different on the Greenworks, you've got your numbers of different heights here with a red marker and you've got a button on the top and you put your hand in underneath, you press the button to release it and then you can push the mower up and down, changing the height settings while watching there. It's all sprung loaded as well. That's in the higher setting, that's in the lower setting. Another lever design on the Ego, pull the lever out towards the wheel and change the height of cut. As Farner are the only ones to have it on the opposite side, so it's on the right-hand side. Again, the lever design, down and up. And then with steel, you've got this handle here. You pull that out towards the side of the mower, and then you can push it that way to go higher, or down to go lower. And you've got your height settings in here to tell you what height it is. <laughs> A 15-inch lawnmower on this big lawn takes a while. This mower is a little pocket rocket. It's only got a 2-amp-hour battery in it, and it's only used half of the juice. And we've cut 25 metres by, what, 5 metres? If your garden's any bigger than that, you're going to want a bigger lawnmower, otherwise it's going to take you too long. Plenty of battery life in it. So if you're worried about battery life on a small mower like that, don't be. We've still got three bars on each battery, so it hasn't quite done as good a job as what the Steger has. It didn't collect as well either, so it's only filling the grass box sort of three quarters full before it was blocking up. That's four runs of grass. Wow. Again, an absolute rocket. It is powering through that grass. It's picked up better than everything so far. It picked up like four strips of grass. No problem at all. Absolutely fine. What have we got left on the batteries? Only one bar left on that. And one bar left on that, because 48 volt, but with two 24 volt batteries to make a 48. So yes, it's doing a great job, but it is eating the battery power.
So we certainly tested the ego then because I went into that longer grass we were doing earlier and it's still done it. And we've still got two bars left, but I'm just, yes, probably about right for a 2.5 amp hour battery into that longer grass. I'm not surprised it's only two bars left out of five. Well happy with that. <laughs> Right, full grass box, and I mean it is proper full. Jam-packed. Oodles of power for a small mower, absolutely tons of it. And it's a BLI 20, which is a four amp hour battery, and there's still two bars left on out of three. Bags, perfectly. Hoovers up the grass, lots of power, cool. A nimble little mower so easy to move about just nice and nimble nice and light there's only an ak20 battery in this and we've still got two bars of power so for a two amp hour battery yeah i'm i'm, I'm impressed Three differences about these mowers is that the Steger and the Greenworks both come with mulch plugs and Husqvarna comes with self-propelled drive which means when you pull the bottom lever the back wheels turn so you haven't got to push it so how long do the batteries take to charge on each mower the Steger two amp hour battery takes 90 minutes in the charger the two Mountfield 4 amp hour batteries take 70 minutes to charge. The two 24 volt 2 amp hour batteries from Greenworks take 60 minutes to charge. The Ego 2.5 amp hour battery takes 50 minutes to charge in the standard charger. The Husqvarna 4 amp hour battery takes 40 minutes to charge. The still AK20 battery takes 55 minutes to charge. So you've now seen what they can and can't do and all the features and benefits on the mowers. Let's check them out individually. So the little Steger, what a little pocket rocket. I'm super impressed with this mower. It is just small and compact and easy to use. And the battery runtime is, I just can't believe it. Nothing has impressed me more with regards to battery runtime. It is only a small mower, so theoretically, yes, that makes sense. That's the only downfall I'd say is this very, very small grass bag. It is very small. And when you go to empty the grass bag, it's quite hard to get the grass out. But if you want a mower, a small mower for perhaps even a larger area, great choice. The Mountfield is a little bit bigger than a Steger, so theoretically it's going to be covering more ground in one go. But for a basic mower, it's okay. It will do a job. I wouldn't say it's designed for longer grass areas, but if you're someone who's going to be cutting the lawn religiously every week, it's going to be absolutely fine. So the Greenworks, it's got plenty of power. It will really go through that heavier grass as well. Its only downfall is its runtime. It did run the batteries down quicker than the others. So the Ego, with its feature-rich design and the telescopic and folding handles to make it so easy for storage, absolutely love it it's got loads of power i say the only downfall is doesn't quite pack the grass box full as some of the others so the husqvarna it's got oodles of power and it packs that grass box really really full the only downside it packs it so full it's actually quite hard to get the grass back out again so the still it's got loads of power it packs the grass box full it's got the mono handle design which makes it so easy for getting the grass box on and off and for storage the only downfall i'd say is the height adjuster can be a little bit fiddly so hopefully this video has been helpful and you can now make a decision on which mower you need for yourself. But we're Machinery Nation and we bring you videos every Tuesday and Friday all about tools and machinery. So please consider subscribing, hit the like button and ding the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. You can also become a member of Machinery Nation where you will receive a membership t-shirt and be invited onto our lives once a month where you can help advise on the type of content that we produce. And also receive behind the scenes footage and exclusive content. Just click the link below. Cheerio.